we have learned in our previous chapter that mass of an object is the measure of its inertia. We also learned that greater the mass, greater is the inertia. But my question is, what about your mass on the moon? Will it be same or will it be different? It will be the same. The mass of any object remains same whether the object is on the earth, the moon or even in outer space. So remember students, mass will be always constant. It does not change from place to place. We all know that any object on the surface of earth experiences a force called gravitational force. And this gravitational force or any force depends on mass of an object and acceleration due to gravity, which is F is equal to M into G, where M is the mass of an object and G is acceleration due to gravity. This gravitational force of earth on an object is called as weight of an object. It is denoted by the letter uppercase W. Now by substituting this in our previous equation, which is force is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity, which is F is equal to mg, we get W, which is weight of an object, is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity. That is, W is equal to m into g. As the weight of an object is the force, the SI unit of weight will be same as that of force, which is Newton. The weight is a force which acts vertically downwards. And this weight has both magnitude and direction. We have learned that the value of g is constant at a given place. Therefore, at a given place, the weight of an object is directly proportional to its mass. That is, w is directly proportional to m. It is due to this reason we use the weight of an object as a measure of mass. So, can you tell me what is your weight on the moon? Will it be same or will it be different? It is different. Let me tell you why. It is because the mass of moon is lesser than that of earth. Due to this, the moon exerts a lesser force. So, now let's try to find out what will be your weight or how to find out your weight on the moon. Let the mass of an object be m. Let its weight on the moon be uppercase w suffix m. Let the mass of moon be m suffix small m and its radius be r suffix m. By applying the universal law of gravitation, the weight of the object on the moon will be wm is equal to gmm into m upon rm squared, where wm is the weight of an object on the moon and g is universal gravitational constant, mm is mass of the moon, m is mass of an object and rm is the radius of moon. Let the weight of the same object on the earth be W, E. The mass of the earth is M and its radius is R. From equations we have W, E is equal to G, M into M upon R squared. Now to calculate the value, let's have this. Mass of earth is 5.98 into 10 to the power 24 kg and mass of moon is 7.36 into 10 to the power 22 kg where the radius of earth is 6.37 into 10 to the power 6 meter and the moon is 1.74 into 10 to the power 6. By substituting these values, we get Wm is equal to G into 7.36 into 10 to the power 22 kg into M upon 1.74 into 10 to the power 6 meter squared. By calculating, we get the weight of moon is equal to 2.431 into 10 to the power 10 gm and weight of earth is equal to 1.474 into 10 to the power gm. By dividing the equations we get wm upon we is equal to 2.431 into 10 to the power 10 upon 1.474 into 10 to the power 11 which is equal to 0.165 which is approximately equal to 1 upon 6. Now we have weight of an object on the moon upon weight of an object on the earth is equal to 1 upon 6. That is, weight of an object on the moon is equal to 
वन अपॉन सिक्स इन टू इट्स वेट ऑन द अर्थ नाउ इट इज ईसी फॉर यू टू फाइंड आउट योर वेट ऑन द मून इट विल बी वन सिक्स ऑफ योर वेट ऑन द अर्थ सो वी हैव लर्न द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मास एंड वेट विच इज मास इज कॉन्स्टेंट एवरीवेयर इट वोट डिफर फ्रॉम प्लेस टू प्लेस एंड वेट डिफर्स फ्रॉम प्लेस टू प्लेस ऑल्सो वी हैव लर्न टू फाइंड आउट द वेट ऑफ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट on the moon that is 1/6 of the weight of an object on the earth